And here we are at the uh, what is a double socket with uh, what's called a cover plate next to it. Um, I'm going to be asking Ned a few questions about um, how that uh, ring main works or radial main works um, and to explain a little bit more about them both. So Ned, obviously a double socket yep. um, on, uh, in this case I believe, a ring main. Yep. Um, what does that actually mean? What does, what does the term ring main mean? Ring main, basically, all it means is it is literally a ring. So yeah. you start at your, on the consumer unit, yeah. you've got the circuit breaker, the cable, one cable comes out and it goes all the way around, feeds all the, the various sockets, okay, and then yeah. comes back to the fuse, so you've got a continual ring. So the current kind of goes both way around? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right, so so yeah. what you can do, you use a slightly smaller cable, but because it's double, it then yeah. comes up to the, okay. the right side of the cable. So then with a ring main, if you took one of those sockets out of that ring, yeah. you'd interrupt... You'd break the ring. You'd break the ring, so and then you'd form work. two radial circuits. Ah, right, yeah. so a radial so circuit is an individual circuit from straight. socket to socket to socket, Stops. but not back to the ring. Back to the fuse. Okay, yeah. that's so fine, that's so that's the difference yeah, between the radiates two. Yeah, radiates or rings. Okay. Yeah. And these are protected by what sort of ampage? You talked about ampage well, earlier the, on. Well, these sockets are what they call a 13 amp double socket. Right. So when you plug an appliance into it, your plug top has another fuse inside it, yeah. uh, which is rated at the appliance. This, like for a kettle, you'd have a 13 amp fuse. Yeah. For a food, a little hand blender, a 5 amp fuse, okay. or for a portable light, a 3 amp fuse. Okay. And, but the whole ring circuit itself is protected by a 32 amp fuse. Oh, I see, yeah. so 32 yeah, amps. So it's fused down again, yeah. depending on the, okay. the load that you're going to plug into. Right. And a 32 amp fuse ring circuit will you let you use something like 7 kilowatts of electricity. Right, or 7 so. 1 kilowatt fires or something like that. Okay, yeah. so, so each appliance is protected individually yep. by an ampage that is smaller than the main ampage. That's it. So that if anything is going to go, it's going to be the appliance first yep. before yep. the whole lot trips That's out. Yep. Oh, I got it. I it got all it. goes yeah. back in various yeah. stages. I mean, if everything all goes pear shaped, yeah. you lose your main fuse at, you, at, yeah. you, at your intake or yeah. where your meter is, which is normally rated yeah. at 100 amps. Yeah. So oh, then, right. Yeah. yeah. So it's always all taken care of. There's always various safety factors throughout yeah. the whole of the installation. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, we get lots of questions on DIY Doctor from people who have switches in their property yeah. to switch on lights that are no longer used or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know what to do with the switches. They take the switch plate off and obviously they've got the switch wires in the hole, yeah. um, in the patris box in yeah. the wall. Yeah. And they say, what well, what should we do? Can we just plaster over them or whatever? Not, so, not good um, <laughs> but, I mean, obviously that's what you and I know, that's why this cover plate is here. Yeah. What goes on behind that cover plate on a switch that's not well, being used anymore? In an ideal world, it'd be, it'd be to, it'd be to take the cables out yeah. of operation yeah. and completely disconnect them. Yeah. Um, if you want to get rid of a light switch, obviously, as you said, there'll be cables behind, which will still be live because yeah. they are part of an existing circuit. Yeah. So what you would do is then connect them into terminal blocks, yeah. which are little plastic things with screws on. Yeah. Yeah. Put all your cables in, put them back in there, and put a blank plate on the front. Okay, just and then to that stop anybody anyone being, yeah. playing because the. Uh, Okay, so there's, there's the answer to uh, an often asked question, what do I do with a switch I don't want to use anymore, um, is to put the switch wires into a terminal block, um, you know, don't, don't join them together, um, put them into a terminal block so they're safe, put them back into the Patris box and put a cover plate on, um, and that, that means that you don't have the switch anymore. Just one final thing on the uh, sockets, that um, there are many, many innovations now, especially in kitchens for space saving devices that allow the, uh, the homeowner to get much more use out of it, what would ordinarily be a normal kitchen. Um, this is one that we like very much. Um, this is an in worktop set of sockets, as you can see. Um, simply pulls up, um, connected by a lead into the mains um, underneath the, the unit so there's no danger um, and you simply plug your appliances into that and when it's not being used that sinks down out of the way. Very very clever device that um, can be incorporated into any worktop. We're now going to move on to the circuit that feeds the outside uh, appliances in this particular property um, and talk a little bit more about that.